Wow, guys, look at the recent Philippines Regional League. Uh, over 200 players, almost 250 players played. Look at the top 16, guys, just filled with Charizard Pidgeot. We're going to talk about uh, the top 16. We are only missing one deck here, which is the deck that I really want to see. Uh, these Lost Zone Charizard with Roaring Moons. Uh, but yeah, let's jump in and look at the Dalgia here. Top 16, guys. I'm sure you guys are excited for this. <laughs> Dalgia is coming into the meta right now with the Metang. You can immediately Evo uh, or put so much uh, metal energy onto your Dalgia. But you're going to have to run a lot. And this deck runs a lot. It runs 17 metal energies. This is insane. Wow. <laughs> And then he runs a couple of trainers. <laughs> Almost the same amount of trainers as his energies, but makes sense because the Metang is looking at the top, top of your deck for four energies and he'll put them wherever you want. That's kind of broken if you put set up two Metangs. It's almost better than your Cold Chill from the back Excalibur. So this engine is actually crazy. And you can see he never evos the Metang to its uh, evolution. So we just stop right there with the Bolden Metang. But it's a big, big engine for him. It's almost as big as like a Bebarrel engine. No, it's actually bigger than Bebarrel. It's, it's literally back Excalibur right now for the Dialga here. Uh, but yeah, we figured it out finally. Look at this. It's actually making a comeback with the Ionos at three, Arvin at three, two o orders and two, one Professor, pretty balanced. Uh, four super rods, four super rods for more energies, I guess. Wow. And then uh, ultra balls, nest balls uh, at three, two body poffins to pick up the bell dooms, uh, one prime catcher, one counter catcher, Evo, team Evo, makes sense. Picking up the metallic turn one, vitality and a defiance band. I think defiance band is a really strong card, does really a lot of work, can. Uh, Fill up the holes where you need them that, uh, go, like for example, golf, uh, gloves used to fill up. This Defiance Band does it pretty reliably if you can control that account. But yeah, Zamazente, Mew, Mew, EX, Luminion, of course you need that, but no four Seal Stones. And a Greninja for another engine of draw. Really strong engine, guys. Let's look at the second Dialga, let's see the differences here. The same Dialga, V, V Star, V, V Star is really broken. Of course, you're not going to use a four seal stone because you always want to V star, which is take another turn. Now that makes sense. This one does not run a, a Luminion, but this one does run the Baskillion that gets you two basic Pokemon, gets you a really strong setup, the setup that you need. We're not going to answer right now. Uh, uh, Mew EX, 17 energies again. One code breaking, so one less Arvin, one code breaking, a Jack and an Eerie. A little bit of control, a little bit of uh, more uh, utility. Switch, Prime Catcher, Body Poffin, two row for a control meta. Really interesting deck, guys. Look at that. Dalgia is coming back. Let's look at the Charizards. Uh, Bebarrel, this is a Charizard Bebarrel. No Pidgeot. Wow, it actually made it top 14. Only one Luminion, and he has another attacker, which is the Entei, just in case. Of course, you're going to run the Body Poffin at four. Two Nest Balls, two Rare Candies. Two Rare Candies only? That's crazy. Because he's running the TM Evo, so he has to rely on the Charmeleon. So he runs two Charmeleons. But that means you have to draw an energy early, and the only energy I see... Oh, well, he does run eight energy, so it's... it's I mean, he's going to be drawing energy early. No Kleffa though, another really strong card that allows you to draw turn one. Strong start there for the... Better than Rotom in my opinion, to be honest with you. And then, uh, yeah, there it is, Collapse Stadium. For Sealstone, really strong deck. There's the Lost Zone Charizard. I want to look at this. No ro Roaring Moons? What? So he just forces the iron hands to activate that's a little bit easy to counter he's gonna have to activate the iron hands the same turn he plays it so it takes two mirage gates if you iono this deck it basically dies out so it's very interesting that he didn't go for the roaring moon at least roaring moon you just need one dark energy in hand and one mirage gate and you can activate the roaring moon with a switch and so 
it's very interesting that he went for that. Uh, I mean, you could add no Roaring Moon at all. That's amazing to me that he's so successful with this. Let's see what he did here. Three Lightning, two Psychic, two Jet Energy, two Fire, Roxanne. Anything special? Poke Gear at two. Makes sense for the Ionos. Um, Counter Catcher at two for the Flutterman. Is running Pokemon Catcher. No two row though. Of course, no two row because I mean, he doesn't really get controlled. But only two switches, one rescue board, and where's the switch? No, that's it. Only two switches. No, four switch cards. Okay. So, really slow amount of switching. Six switching only. Very interesting. One Iona, one Rox two Roxanne. Strong deck. Uh, I believe in this. I think Artisan is a little bit risky here. Uh, what do you guys think about Artisan in decks? You guys like the Artisan? You like giving your opponent a card, <laughs> Manaphy, or, or Jirachi, you needed him not to have. Uh, all right, moving on. Charmander, Charmeleon. Wow, two Charmeleons. This is number 12, Charizard. Two Pidgeots, of course. No even Bidoof. Some decks will run one Bidoof, Bibero. No even Bidoof, just Radiant Charizard, Rotom V. Damn, he's not even running the Kleffa, which is better than Rotom V, in my opinion. But makes sense. You can at least force Shieldstone the Rotom V. But you do have the little minion as well. Two mist energies prevent all effects of uh, attacks used by your opponent's Pokemon done to this Pokemon. Interesting. So you could reduce, uh, so you can not get TM Evode basically or Devode. A Collapse Stadium, a Defiance Band, really strong card. We just talked about this, one of the strongest cards in my opinion. Palpat, Prime Catchers, Lost Vacuum, two Counter Catcher. Wow, a lot of control. Oh, only two bosses order. Makes sense that he runs two counter catcher then. Usually you see a three. Two Iono only? No control? So man, so wow, this is really interesting. So if, so if Charizard doesn't Iono you, why are you even worried about Charizard? Charizard's not scary, but I guess I get it because he can pick up Iono anytime he wants with the Pidgeot EX. Makes sense. Interesting deck, guys. Let's move on. Arceus Giratina. Wow. Four Arceus, four V Star, two Giratina, two V Star, three Bidoof, two Bibarel, Scovet, Iron Leaves for the Charizard, Luminion, Radiant, Gardevoir for a little bit more resistance. <laughs> really smart idea. Wow. Look at how much energy. 14 energies, 544, double turbo. Psychic and Grass, and one Jet Energy. Maximum Belt is used here, makes sense. You can one-shot Charizards, Lost Vacuums, Counter Switch, Capturing Aroma, three Boss, three Judge, three Iona. Oh my God, there's so much control. Makes total sense, because Arceus, is, once he's once you set up two Arceus, you just activate all your cards. So this is why I was a little bit surprised that this guy only ran two Ionos, but yeah. Really strong deck. One Turo here to save his dying cards <laughs> and to save himself from two two shot uh, or losing uh, cards, losing prizes or opponent getting ahead of him in prizes. And yeah, really strong card there. I think that's why the Turo makes uh, Pidgeot EX actually usable because now if you get damaged on the EX, you just pick it up. Or if and and it works against the control deck as well. So really smart. There's the Charizard EX. You got him with the Bidoof. No Pidgeot at all. Just a Scovet for a little bit of more help. Wow, this one actually did 10. The code breaking. Two Defiance Bands. Very strong card, guys. We talked about this. Not, not even trying for the Choice Belt. And then an Evolution. Wow, really strong card, guys. We're running less amount of rare candies because we don't need that money for the Pidgeot. Another one, this one is a Pidgeot EX with a Gouging Fire and a Chewy. Interesting. Wow. Seven energies, two boss, one Roxanne, one Turo. How many switches? One switch, two Counter Catcher, and a Maximum Belt, no Prime Catcher. Wow. Risky, but made it happen with nine, ninth place. Of course, the Defiance Band is there. Guys, Defiance Band, every Charizard, I see it. I see it now. Four Charmander, a Gouging Fire, 
seven energies. So some decks are running the Gouging Choir. I really don't believe you need it. I think you need a Cleffa. Get rid of the uh, Rotom. And uh, a Bidoof Be Barrel. One Bidoof Be Barrel on the side. And just make the Radiant Charizard your focus. Why do you want to EX on the board anyways? What do you want? It, it does exactly what this guy does for more energy and now now Charizard cannot be controlled because there's no path to the peak at all. So you can never control Charizard except with a Flutterman, I guess. I don't know how you can do that. So Gouging Fire is really not necessary. I guess it's just another Charizard. Uh, it's just very interesting. And then let's see here. Force Seal Stone Defiance Band Evolution Collapse Stadium. Similar to every other deck. Two Nest Balls. So they are running some Nest Balls. I think I think there is value one two Nest Balls. Yeah. Because you can get the Pidgeot. Uh, or sorry. The Radiant Charizard and the Gouging. You can also get that Rotom if you want. Or a Manaphy. Oh no Jirachi in here. Wow. This is a little bit risky. Makes sense. Because he had to fit the Gouging Fire for some reason. Um... Wow. A little bit risky deck. Because, uh... He could have probably got rid of one of these nest balls. For the Jirachi. But yeah, guys. Interesting deck here. A Charizard Pidgeot EX. Bidoof. No Bidoof Beberil. No messing around. Just running the Charizard EX. The Charmeleon he chose is the Flare Veil. Oh, we are still running the Blazing Destruction Charm in there as well, guys. A lot of people opted away from it for the Ember. Also running Eerie. Wow, Eerie. <laughs> Eerie. And then... Uh, Team Devo. Wow. Interesting deck. Nothing special. You could run... I think the number now is one Lost Vacuum. I mean, I guess if you're if there's a heavy Roaring Moon meta, you could run two. But uh, one is enough. A lot of people are only running one Rescue Board. You can find it with your Pidgeot EX. One is enough. You can find it with Arvin as well. Another Pidgeot e, uh, EX Charizard. This one's running the Ember over the Destruction. Like I said earlier. No Bidoofs. Just the Radiant Charizard. And there is a Jirachi in there. Smart idea. What is this Mist Energy stuff? Interesting idea. Very interesting idea. You could give it to the Charizard. You could also give it to the Pidgeot EX, right? Is that what you do? So you don't get TM Devoed. Yeah, right? You give it to the Pidgeot EX so you don't get TM Devoed. You can also attack with it now. Doing 120. That's really strong. So very, very cool idea. I think I think that's really smart, I think. And yeah, I think six energy is all you need. You add one more mist. Shove it in there. Get get it with the Pidgeot EX. Shove it underneath him. Now he can never get TMD vote. And you just have you just protect him. Of course, you wouldn't do that against, like, a, a Giratina, but you would do that against any other deck, right? Because Giratina just brings him in and one-shots him. Let's see here. Yeah, nothing really crazy besides that. No, Nest Ball is a big number, actually. Very interesting. What do you want with all these Nest Balls? What are you bringing? Charmanders? Isn't that what Buddy Poffin does? Wow, that's a big number. I mean, that makes sense. I mean, if you really want consistency and you want to turn one play, two, two nest balls, yeah, makes sense. Let's go to number four Charizard, guys. Number four Charizard. Bidoof doesn't exist in this deck. A Raging and a, a, a Gouging Fire. There is a no Jirachis. They're really not dis disrespecting the Sableye. A Jet Energy over the Mist. Three Buddy Poffins, so how many Nest Balls? Two Nest Balls. See, you can run a really small amount. I'm very surprised a lot of people are running a huge amount of Nest Balls and Buddy Poffins. And then a Counter Catcher, Prime Catcher, Switch. The Defiance Band is there. Yeah, we're going to need the Defiance Band. Now I have to go buy one. 
Oh, there's a heavy ball for the Gouging Fire or the Radiant Charizard. I think that's a little bit too much, to be honest with you. Very interesting idea, though. <laughs> Three Ionos. Could fit one Iono over that and make him four. And a two-row. One two-row? Wow, it made him, he made it happen. It was one two-row, one switch is all he needed for any control decks. I mean, this is crazy. I can't believe... Because I know control is heavy right now. I'm so happy to see Charizard's winning. There's the guard for it's doing good. It's, he's using the Galate to pick up any supporters he needs. Flutter means control. Ah, uh, so a lot of people had a really hard time against him, and he was able to control his way to the top because I really don't see anything crazy here. Almost looks like a lost box. Almost looks like a like a toolbox, right? Like a one shot, and then there's the guard in the back, and that he can pick up with two row anytime he wants. Very interesting, he made it happen with the Evos, especially with no more Kirilla Mirage Steps. He made it happen, guys. Bravery Charm, Luxury Cape, and a Hero Cape. So he's really focused on making his guys big. That's how he made it happen. Made this guy huge. And they just got pumping insane amounts of damage. What a genius idea, guys. The Drifloon deck. And then controlled whenever he necessary. What a genius idea there! Wow, what an amazing deck, guys. I'm gonna. I'm sure we're gonna see a lot of deck profiles about this deck very soon. Charizard Pidgeot, the top man, the top of the food chain, guys. Charizard Pidgeot right now, guys. You you need to figure out how to play against it. And I know what the problem is. Every deck can play against. It. It's just the consistent Iono is just so difficult to play around. For Sealstone, Maximum Belt, Choice Belt, no Prime Catcher in this one, Maximum Belt instead, wow. So for the for the mirror match, wow, he's ready for the mirror match. And then finally, I mean, he did assume, I mean, if you if, if you know it's going to be a Charizard Festival, might as well pick it up for the mirror match, yep. And then finally, the Charizard that won the game versus that Choice Belt, let's see what he did here. Radiant Charizard and a Gouging Fire, no Jirachis, Disrespect. Disrespecting the law, <clears throat> the Sable Eye completely, not even worrying about it. I guess no one in the Philippines plays Sable Eye. And then there it is Eerie Turo, Switch at one, three Buddy Puff and three Nest Balls. A Seal Stone, a Maximum Belt. Oh my god, it's Maximum Belt. Because you win the mirror match every single time. Every single time you pick it up. And, and what you do is you do the early damage to one shot. Wait, how do you even use it? I guess by the second Charizard, you're one-shotting now while he's uh, two-shotting. Wow. Yeah, I think it is the maximum belt, guys. Makes sense. It just makes the mirror match so easy. But remember, what you could do is you could lost zone, lost vacuum against this. Make him, yeah, he's going to gain value from it, but you at least don't have to deal with this ever again. If you run two lost vacuums. But yeah, guys, that's it. Interested in your opinions, which deck is the best interested?